Charm said she wouldn't be burned. So, Stana, dearie, while you're all niceness. <laughs> I'll find a way to finance my vices. Set. I've got the top floor let. <laughs> but hear this. Between me and you, he's a man who's undoubtedly charming. 
but with tactics a trifle alarming. He fondled my bust, said display it I must, and then went for my drawers without warning. <laughs> oh. You and I, we are alike, I feel. Oh. It's the drawers. There's a definite appeal. <laughs> There are that times so serious. something so serious, but, but something's quite, quite curious. curious. Mm -hmm. There's a times when I swear you are real. Oh. <clears throat> Jack. <laughs> <laughs> Jack, my boy, is that you? I'm wondering what more I can do. We've got paying guests. I provide them my best. But it's not enough, sad but true. Oh, oh. oh. oh Ma, you are such a brick. You don't bang my ear, give me stick. For bringing no bread, but living instead the life of Jack the Lad. Waster. Truth is, I'm feeling the squeeze. Can you give me a tenor, please? Oh, yes, you can. I've no money. Sorry, my sweet. Blame his lordship. The fortunes deplete. The bookies, the drink. What else? Let me think. His favourite charity in Danube Street. <laughs> oh. A bon viveur? A bon viveur. Like to lord it. The money's gone. And now we've copped it. He left us this piece. Spent the rest on his niece. <laughs> oh, what more can I do to sort it? The Arts Club bell... I've several times rung the committee's praises I've grovelingly sung. When red stickers abound, your foundations are sound. They must see I'd look very well hung. Dear Jack, <laughs> that's all very well. Listen now, I've something to tell. Though it breaks my heart, I'm afraid we must part with the sideboard. We'll just have to sell. Woe is me, and I am ready to flop. Is it too early to have a wee drop? <laughs> Give me a drink, it will help me to think. Then this rhyming malarkey will stop. Oh, yes, it is. Oh, oh yes, it is. <laughs>
say, on this lovely day, my Georgian auction house is one of the finest ever seen. We've even had the honor to serve the queen. When the horrid furnishing requires a wee change, uh, this is something we can stealthily arrange. <laughs> Willy and Dilly Antiques is my special art of the Edinburgh commercial scene. I play a leading part. Mm -hmm. Let me tell you, not many from a repro can tell. Surprisingly easy to get rich from a deal. My name is Archibald Sell You Short Make A Lot McAdder. <laughs> <laughs> and with my success, I just become badder and badder. <laughs> <laughs> Buy cheap, sell for a heap. My actions are raw sneaky. But there's plenty of posh to fleece in all the beauty. <laughs> you're a pick a pocket or two, boy. You got a pick a pocket, boy, boy. But in the distance, on your pier, that boy Jack is bringing something here. I wonder what antique for me he's got. Oh, good. I think I'll make a lot. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sir. Is this bad pig's establishment, the famous auction house to which I've been sent? My mother found her sideboard surplus to requirement. Her dinner parties ceased. Other means of entertainment. She says it's very old and must have value. I have to ask for an estimate from you as to what you can do. Dear young sir, I, I know you are from Rutland Square since often I have seen you there. Uh, with your dear mother, I am well acquainted. Off be times in my art, which is faint. <laughs> At the Scottish Arts Club, I've long been a member. I'm sure that I have. I'm a member of Lady Rutland, will remember. <laughs> I'm sorry to hear she has I find these old Edinburgh houses gold. My boy, this is the right place, I'm sure indeed. I can give you all the help you need. My mother said it is 200 years old. I'm rather sad it has to be sold. Oh. <laughs> it is a Rutland heirloom that always had a place in the dining room. <laughs> all the precious china in it was stored, now gone but still a special sideboard. <laughs> mm. I can see uh, uh, it has, as a piece, it has been very fine, but it, I would have looked after it better had it been mine. And you can see uh, the wood worms uh, left a sign, and on the side there's a distinct scratch, on the other a wee faded patch. Surely your mother had polished a match. Oh, sir. My mother says she has to limit her time, and fondling, poli po polishing wood is not really her line. Oh, uh, brown furniture is not popular today. <laughs> so it may be hard to sell on, I should say. And that will affect what I am prepared to pay. For this excellent piece, I have the perfect home. I'll text a client abroad for a tax-free deal on my cell phone. And until it's shipped, I know where I can keep it, in the attic of the Arts Club. No one will seek it. <laughs> hey, young Jack, on this problem I must take a few minutes to reflect and consult current market prices on the internet. Wait patiently, but I must warn you not too much to expect. My mother hopes to raise money. That's the plan. Oh, sir. Sir, please do the very best you can. She said our situation is really dire. If I return empty-handed, I risk her ire. Well, my boy, I can appreciate your plight. Archibald Bacadar always does things right. <laughs> the sideboard off your hands I'll take for dear Lady Rutland's sake. I will give, should I kind of give money? At a good rate, I'll give you something more appropriate, of a value your mother can appreciate. Two perfect globes, better than cash by far. Two flying artichokes, certainly. 
<laughs> oh, sir, thank you. Thank you for your aid. I'm sure, sure it will turn out just as you said. And I believe these, these are, are treasures beyond compare, and I believe they are terribly rare. Mm. I can imagine Mother's delight. Mm. She'll be so pleased when they are in her sight. Oh, oh she was. <laughs> <laughs> Now to our dear old sideboard, I must say goodbye. And home to Rutland Square, I must fly. <laughs> During his long-term financial plans. Financial plans. He has no time for casual enjoyment. As enjoyment. He's far from being a very honest man. Honest man. He would cheerfully sell off his old grandmother. His grandmother. Pretending she's a Georgian chest of drawers. With her drawers. When he pays you promptly like a brother, like a brother, be sure the check you have has not been forged. And if dealer's dealing has been done, has been done, please be sure to check your wallet has it gone, has it gone. <laughs> Is a dealing. Is a dealing. Be careful what he tries to sell to you. Sell to you. Well, that silver spoon, he says, is so appealing. So appealing. I saw the other day in B and Q. B and Q. And that mysen was that labeled seven fifty. Seven fifty. On which you are inclined to take a punt. Take a punt. Was valued at between fifteen and twenty. Fifteen and twenty. And I saw it yesterday on bargain hunt. Oh, oh, and the dealer's dealing has been done, has been done. Please be sure to check your wallet hasn't gone. Rusty bucket. <laughs> ah, all alone. And I feel like saying fiddlesticks. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I'll clean the windows, wash the floor, and think not of the sideboard I adore. Instead, I'll think of all that gold more and more till I grow old. I'll buy a hat and even a gun, for poverty has ground me down. <laughs> Hello, dear. <laughs> <laughs> Darling. <laughs> it was a grand romance, for I was fair. <laughs> yes, I was. <laughs> I had my share. <laughs> I had my share of teeth and smiles <laughs> and dabs of cheek. He even worshipped my tiddly feet. <laughs> Do you mind? <laughs> Alas. Alas, it did not last. He drank and gambled. And even his eye and todger widely rambled. <sighs> Till into the mud we could descend no further. And here am I. All tits and titles and no tiara <laughs> and Jack 
the son and heir, of course. Thick as a club sandwich, and worse. <laughs> He's got the charm of an AGM, and the brains of a monthly subscription. <laughs> and I have sent him out into the world to bring us back our fortune. Oh, oh hey ho, where's my bucket and mop? Bring out the cloth. There it is, and reach for the top. Oh. Ma! Son! Ma! Son! Mama! Son, 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 son! What? Look at what I've got! What's that? <clears throat> it's a thingy. <laughs> <laughs> it's a hearty joke with a double entendre. <laughs> what? <laughs> What? <laughs> it reminds me of something I knew a long, long time ago. It reminds me of your father. Oh, Jack, when did you get this appalling representation of art? Of vegetation? Unmentionable. Unmentionable. Un it was. Unmentionable. <laughs> Unmentionable meat and double vegetation. That's what I got for the sideboard. You what? For which? <sighs> the antique dealer, he said, the thingy was worth more than any money, that, that if we planted it, we would have the fairest of fortunes. The fairest of fortune? I'll fairest of, I'll give you fairest of fortune, you foolish, foolish boy. Come here, Jack. Wait till I get my hands on this old physical wreck. That useless, good for nothing, that son of the ancient line of Rutland. I'll give you thingies. Give me that thingy. Oh, thingy, you're a thingy, my lad. No, no, mother, don't throw it. We have to plant it with a wish. Grief and suffering. Grief and suffering. All the world's against us. Oh, all I want is my sideboard back. And all I want is to lift us out of the red and into the black. <laughs> inform you that I will not deal in fish any other cause. I'm happy to comply. I could even, if you really want it, teach you how, how to, to fly. fly. <laughs> See, Mother, I told you so. The, this fairy is worth more than any gold we might have got for the sideboard. Hold on there, son. Just hold on. Now then, fairy. Prove your worth. Where is my sideboard on this earth? Ma, you can't ask her that. She doesn't know the dealer. So? I can see it way up high. Not white in the sky. In a place quite forgotten. Where stands a large green table. Newly painted walls, I see. What more? I am not able. Ma? Ma, that sounds like like the upstairs. On the top floor, the... No. 
not the snooker room. <laughs> oh dear. 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 Not bad news, I hope. Mother had a bow, <coughs> an antique dealer, and the what's it room was where they went for a feeler. <laughs> Oh, I'm even more stupid than my mother thinks. I have given him our last chance of wealth and happiness and a little chateau in France. <laughs> too right, son, too right. So, what can we do about it? <laughs> Not here. I am here. All is well. I have the spell to regain your precious sideboard from the wicked dealer's hoard. I have in my gift a wee small lift. <laughs> a wee small lift. A wee small lift. It will take you up with ease. No strain upon the knees. To your destiny on high. Which no boggly, interfering, polish eating, worm infested, beastly wicked antique dealer can deny. Up, up we go. Down we go. Up Sing we go. This merry song as we go. go. Pal 
from Lanzarote, who is kind and good and never haughty. A past president arrives in style. I do hope she will stay a while. I'll ask for help from Mary Claire. She learns much in her office lair. The sewing group are in today. Fine work made to look like child's play. Admiral Vance and his lady arrive to dine. Now the company is very fine. Everything is arty farty. These must be the literati. <laughs> <laughs> Let's take the giant stair lift. It's not too far. Club bar, a cocktail jack, Prosecco and Calvados. You should not suffer memory loss. This evil brew is my powerful factor, which is why I call it the friendly distractor. <laughs> Come sit a while, the seat's quite near. Come sit a while, the seat's quite near. Tell me, who are these people here? They're thinking hard about some questions, like talented scholars discussing lessons. Lawyers bright, and artists bold. A judge or two, so I'm told. Miss, 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 please miss. I know the answer. Get out of here, you silly gunk. This quiz here's for jingle folk. <laughs> Come on, Jack. Jack and don't delay. We'll take you safely on your way. The scowl of pipes, it stirs my heart. The band of pipers perform their art. With marches bold and lament so sad, they rouse my soul and make me glad. If they stop playing and take a rest, perhaps they'll help me with my quest. Fairy Stana leads the way. A smoker room looms dark and grey. But what's this here, all light and bright? A studio. This can't be right. Skilled artists draw a lady fair. I can't believe my eyes. She's bare. <laughs> Thank you. 
Well, now I've come right up on high to the arts club top floor in the sky. I've already had a taste, I fear, of the dreadful things that go on here. Wine, women's song, and all that style, accompanied by David Lyle. <laughs> and now, with courage, I'll be bold and rescue our sideboard before it's sold. <laughs> but the dealer isn't far behind. I've never met one so unkind. I need your help to keep him out. So if you see him coming, shout! <laughs> We've climbed so high, it's near the sky. My sideboard drawers were ne'er so high. I think I'll take a look around and find someone to take them down. <laughs> ah. Aha, there's Jack, my lovely lad. I'm sorry, thinking he was bad. Ah. And yet, he does remind me so of my milkman round here long ago, with gold <laughs> star looks from somebody. <laughs> we had such fun on my chatee. <laughs> I've brought a hammer, clever kid, to find out where the sideboard's hid. Ooh. When tapping on that door just then, I thought the voice of Michael Glenn rang out, but no, young Michael isn't in this show. Inside that door, now let me see. There's locked up in that lavatory the voice of something old and scratched. But where is there the secret key? To, to the arts club top floor lavatory. <laughs> That lavatory up in there, for ages now I've kept the key, so it's only available to me. <laughs> James? James? Come and be chatted up. Come in. Come in. <laughs> <laughs> I can't wait. <laughs> Behold, that lady's beauteous form curvaceous, far beyond the norm. If only she would glance on me, lay her love perchance on me, all my wicked ways I'd spurn, and an honest living I would earn. In front of these assorted masses, I give each one the right emphasis. <laughs> Jack, open that lock! and set her free from the Scottish Arts Club laboratory. <laughs> Thank goodness now we can ensure I spend no more time as furniture. In Panto's future, I can now be the rear end of the cow. <laughs> My granny left me shares of plenty, which makes me the money even when the tram is empty. I am the heiress of the city trams. Those who oppose us will betide. We're going to live in Morningside. <laughs> and now I'll take with Jack, with Jack. Sideboard deep in lust. I'm overflowing, <gasps> fit to bust. For some old wealthy git. And you, my darling, will be it. <laughs> I'll pose for you, dear, in the nude. 
<laughs> and that will teach you to be good. <laughs> this wicked spell was once it's endured. Not. <coughs> and now, and now the maiden fair who was fun at George is this free. So I'm going now to set this danger free. It's at a close. And good has triumphed, I suppose. A uh, thanks to you for taking time to view our awful pantomime. <laughs> our final message must be clear. Merry Happy Christmas, Christmas to you all and a Happy New Year!